In the next question, we see a cylindrical vessel on which a label is put. Now, the label is put in such a way that there are 2 centimeter gaps from the top and bottom. The total length of this cylindrical vessel is 20 centimeter and the diameter is given 14 centimeter. Now, the question is what is the area of this label? Now, to find the area of the label, first of all, we see that the total cylinder height is 20, but the height of the label will be 20 minus 4. Why minus 4? Because we have to subtract 2 each from top and bottom. So, the height of the label will be 20 minus 2 minus 2, that is 20 minus 4, 16 centimeter. The diameter is given 14 centimeter. So, radius will be half of the diameter, that is half of 14, that will be 7 centimeter. So, we have found out the height of the label and we have also found out the radius of the label. Now, to find the area, this label is going to be pasted on throughout the cylinder on behind also that is not visible here. So, the curved surface area has to be found out because the label is in the form of a cylinder. So, we will use 2 pi r h curve surface area because the top and bottom there is no label. So, curve surface area will be 2 pi r h. So, that will be 2 multiplied by 22 by 7. Radius we have found out as 7 and the height is 16. So, here we find that 7 gets cancelled. So, 2 into 2 is 44. 44 has to be multiplied by 16. So, we have 16 fours are 64. 4 and 6 carried. 16 fours are 64 plus 6, 70. So, we get 704. So, the area we can say of this label will be 704 centimeter square. This is a cube and the question says edge of a cube is doubled. Then what will be the change in surface area and what will be the change in volume? So, this is the side of the cube. Now, if it is doubled, then if let us say the side of the cube is x at the moment and when it is doubled, it will become 2x. Now, what happens to the surface area? Let us look at the first part. Originally, we know that the area will be 4 into x square. 4 into x square because we know that for a cube, the curved surface area is 4x square. And if you look at the total surface area, that will be 6x square. So, we have here curved surface and here we have total surface area 6 side square. Now, whatever is mentioned irrespective of that, if the edge of the cube is doubled, that means instead of x now it becomes 2x. So, what happens to the area? Now, if you put here in the first case, this will become CSA 4 into 2x whole square. So, this is going to be 4 into 4x square. So, what is happening is that 4x square has become 16x square. So, we find that the area increases 4 times. Even if we do it here the same way, what is going to happen? 6 multiplied by 2x whole square. That is the total surface area. This will be 6 into 2x whole square. Now, 2x whole square is 4x square. 4x square into 6, we will get 24x square. So, again the area increases by 4 times. So, the first part of the answer change in surface area will be we will say that if the edge of the cube is doubled, the area becomes 4 times of the original. And now look at the second part that is the change in volume. Now, volume formula is side cube. Now, for this cube, the original volume will be x cube because side is x. Now, what happens if the side is doubled? If the side is doubled, it will become 2x whole cube. 2x whole cube will become 8x cube. So, compared to the original, new volume has become 8 times. So, the answer to the first part, the area will be increased by 4 times, but the volume will be increased by 8 times.